<laughs> it's Valentine's Day in Chengdu, and preparations are well underway for an unusual event. A matchmaking party to find husbands for some of the city's single female millionaires. These women are part of China's new elite, the super rich, who seem to have it all. But when it comes to love, they're victims of their own success. How many applications have you had? We have uh, received uh, over 5,000 uh, applications from all... Johnny Du is the man playing Cupid tonight. And how many will be here tonight? And uh, after all the screening and selection, and we eventually we picked uh, 51 uh, gentlemen to attend this event. So 51 men and 51 women? Yes. Among the arriving potential husbands are local civil servants, a judge and a senior policeman. Johnson, why have you come here? To um, find a partner for life. Johnson Z is 26 and works in IT. He's wearing badge number eight, the luckiest number of all in China. Well, if you're lucky, you could end up with a millionaires. Mm, yes, but uh, uh, I'm doing pretty well myself, so I don't want, that's not particularly my consideration. So, so money is not an issue? Not really, not really. Yeah. So ideally you'd like to find a woman who's 26 or under? Um, I have to be honest here that actually Chinese girls, women, they psychologically grew older than Western girls. China will soon be the world's biggest economy. It's already home to one and a half million millionaires, a third of them women. But far from being considered a catch, China's ambitious modern woman is finding few prospects in the marriage market. It's a social contradiction that's inspired this song. Deng Feng is a millionaire entrepreneur who made her fortune by selling furniture. What is the downside of being a very wealthy single woman in China today? Mm, <coughs> in China, a woman who fails to succeed in love by the time she turns 28 is branded leftover. But at 42 and single, Miss Dang says she won't be deterred from the search to find a husband. Are men afraid of a strong woman in China? Ting 啊。Uh. Hoping that tonight at the matchmaking party her fortunes might change, Deng Feng wants to look her best. Exciting, 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 
如果我能够真的能够去代表代表这个中国，目前就是我这一类型的剩女也好啊，这种真能代表的话，我觉得我还挺荣幸的。Miss Deng is an old friend of Johnny Do, CEO of one of China's top free internet dating sites. Online dating is big business in China. One's even listed on the Nasdaq stock market. The Chinese government they published a report and uh, say currently there are nearly uh, 200 million uh, singles in China. 200 million. Yeah, 200 million. Singles, wow, wow. Uh, in China, and also, uh, and it's uh, keep growing. It's a social time bomb. China's skewed gender imbalance means there are currently 118 men for every 100 women. Yet, despite the shortage of women, Chinese men remain very picky. Chinese uh, men uh, normally don't want to date women older than they themselves. So if you're a woman who's single mm. and is 30 or over, you're considered left over? Uh, correct. Um, recent service said that uh, um, if you're older than 28, uh, you're, you're called a uh, leftover woman or leftover woman man. Why? It's just a tradition, and uh, maybe the, um, peer, um, the pressure from the peers and from the societies. If you date for like old woman and uh, older than you, and probably the people will around you will look down on you. Traditionally in China, happiness depends upon marriage, and so for some parents, getting their adult children married off is an obsession. At this Beijing park, desperate parents hold a marriage market several times a week. Here, parents post details about their unmarried children in the hope they'll find a match. He says he's 33 and born in the year before, and he's a chef. A chef? Yeah. So each one of these is a, is a personal biography? Yeah. Like how tall they are, how heavy they are, education level. I've never seen this before. <laughs> uh, this is a very free area, and no money exchange. The anybody who wants to get a partner or fiance yeah. or to get married, yes, it's a good place. Mr. Pang tells me that he's looking for a husband for his daughter. He's now uh, uh, 36 years old. Uh, she's working in uh, London. I said, I'm still not married. And then they said, oh, you are too critical. That's why you couldn't find Miss Wright. Catherine Zhao is 35 and a civil engineer. But like Deng Feng, she's considered a leftover woman. Do you get sad sometimes? Yeah, of course. I just wish uh, the people never look at the single woman as a strange kind of human being in the world. I think the world changed so fast. Everything changed. And uh, I'm satisfied in this moment. And uh, I'm also satisfied and also looking forward to, to have my own family. She says she spent most of her 20s and 30s working on her career. Now she admits she struggles to get a date. They said, OK, one day when you retired, uh, if nobody around you, if you, have, if you get sick, who will take care of you? This is uh, always... Uh, kind of thoughts from a parent's side. Catherine tells me that though she and her friends haven't given up hope of finding true love, they're not willing to compromise on who they are for a partner. Do you think men find you intimidating? I think uh, the men do. Or did, but 
maybe after that, maybe they think I'm too, too independent. Uh, they think you're too independent. Possible, yeah. This is a, at least I, I, I learned from my ex-boyfriend. He told you that? Yeah, he told me. Do you think you are? I think I'm independent because my parents educate me by this way. Even I'm a girl, but uh, my parents tell me, even you're a girl, you should do everything. Try to do everything by yourself. Now tell me, what sort of woman do Chinese men want? I think uh, from my experience, I, I think they prefer the women as uh, beauty. First, it must be beauty. And second, they are a little bit uh, uh, not that smart. You need to have a certain education, but not so much, not too much. Uh, Submissive. Smart. Yeah, I should say like this. And I prefer, I think they also prefer the, the, the girl is uh, uh, conservative. Oh. I think this is very important. You know, finding a perfect match is always a challenge for any person, for any couples. Matchmaker Johnny Du says it's not only Chinese men who are choosy about potential partners. Women are picky, they're really picky and they want the man to be very, very rich, young, handsome and uh, also um, uh, rich, handsome and uh, educated and uh, also be um, good, uh, be good to them. Back at the matchmaking party, it's speed dating Chinese style. <laughs> but before long, things begin to look hopeful for Miss Deng. She appears to be hitting it off with number 46, a businessman from Beijing. All too soon, the dinner is drawing to a close. The smile on Miss Deng's face suggests the evening was a success. But has she found love? Uh, I think <音>我觉得这个这个七夕啊，今天是中国的情人节，我觉得还挺有意义的啊，不是说呃肯定要成为这个这个恋人的朋友哈，但最起码要多认识了几个几个朋友。